What's up everybody? Welcome to Queer Girl Straight Skates. My name's Rebel and today I'm going to be upcycling these skates by doing something fun to them. That's right, you probably guessed it or maybe you didn't. I don't know. I'm gonna glitter bomb them. They're gonna look amazing afterwards. Just you wait. Straight Skates is a YouTube channel all about roller skating. So if you like roller skating or if you want to like roller skating, then go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell because I put out new videos every week. Sometimes it's Tuesday and sometimes it's on Wednesday. <laughs> and head on over to cheersofthequeers.com because I got lots of cool stuff and you definitely want to buy it and it helps support this channel. On to the episode. So today we are going to be using glitter light paint from Angelus to dye, well paint technically, to dye slash paint these Jack One red skates to be ruby red slipper glitter skates. Is it gonna work? Probably. <laughs> I say probably because I actually did do this in a live with my gold skates. They were originally yellow and then I used the glitter light paint and I painted them with gold thinking there's no way this is going to work and then it turned out to be the best thing ever and now I'm freaking obsessed with those skates and I absolutely love them. Do you want to see them? Let me go get them. They're right here. Absolutely, I have a hard on for decorating my skates and making them different and cute. Recently, I just did this to the back of my skates. Do I recommend doing this? Probably not, but did I want to do it and see if I could? Absolutely. So today, I'm going to make these in the same way I use the glitter paint for this. I'm going to put some red glitter paint on here. Now, I've tried using this glitter light paint. This is the glitter light paint that I'm going to use. It's from Angelus, and it is incredible. I love it. I've tried using this on vinyl, and it still works, but it is not as potent as I've found that it comes out on suede. And I think that it's because this just, like, the suede just sucks it up and like drinks it up. It's like, mm, 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 yum, yum, love glitter. And what I have also found is that when I use these skates, the glitter doesn't come off, like it doesn't get everywhere. And then when it does start to rub off, here, let me show you. Oh, when it does start to rub off, it just rubs off like paint and you can see the underneath of the skate. Uh, I took these to somewhere that had a lot of white paint. Oh, I was doing a shoot and the ground was freshly painted with white and I absolutely ruined the front of my skate, but I'm just gonna fix that later. So, feel pretty confident in using this. So first things first, we gotta undress the skates and make them naked. So let me just do that really quick. Whoosh. All right, I did it. I made them naked, which basically means that I took everything off of them that I could easily take off of them. Um, I just took the laces, the toe stops. I think they had, yeah, they had jam plugs on them and the wheels and so now if I was telling you how to do this and you wanted to do it the right way what you would do is you would clean your skates first before you do the next step but I'm not going to do that because I am lazy so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start painting on them another thing that you should probably do that I'm also not going to do is protect your hands, your like nails, everything. I took my engagement ring off because that's the one thing I really care about. And you also should probably tape off all the parts that you don't want to be painted. But I'm also not going to do that because I don't care. <laughs> these are just like fun artsy skates at this point. I have worn the crap out of these. These are my first pair of jack boots. And you know, it's I loved them so hard. I wore them all the way through Disco Oasis. They were my first like really hardcore skate park skates. They've been they've been with me for the long haul. So now they're gonna get a little love in, a little little glow up. So what we're gonna do once you've done all those things, right? You've taped off your skate. You've cleaned it. Um, you could use suede cleaner for the suede. You can uh, clean the rest of it with you know whatever you want to clean it with. You can use a 
uh, one of those clean eraser things. What are those called? Magic erasers? If you want to remove scuffs or anything, you can use that. Those are really great for it. Again, I'm just not going to do that. Um, <clears throat> and then also you might want to tape this in case you want to keep it white or I'm probably going to paint it eventually or stud it or something. So you did all those things. Now uh, you're just going to take the paint and you're going to paint it. And so we're going to do it. Um, no going back now. <laughs> um, I am not obviously too concerned about this. <gasps> oh my God. It looks so good. Wait, literally. Okay. Literally this was one little bit worth of the brush, like one swipe. Well, it was a couple swipes, but it was one like brush full of glitter paint. When I did the gold ones, literally one coat was enough. Um, I don't know if the same is going to be the case here. I'm probably going to do two coats. I did a second coat on the gold ones just because, I don't know, I wanted it. I scuff up my skates a lot. Honestly, I put them through the ringer. So I wanted them to have a little extra protective, you know, space or boundary for, you know, me and being the fact that they are my skates. So yeah, I definitely would, if you really care about your skates, make sure you do prep work and make sure you don't just go for it like I am. This is something I've been thinking about for a long time. I was going to have my friend paint these skates and then I realized that I would much rather have her paint a pair of skates that I'm going to wear more often. These ones are just kind of my... They're my go-to when I just need some skates that I can mess up because they've been through the ringer so much. Anyways, um, yeah, so how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I am doing significantly better now that I'm going to have like the cutest red skates. I actually like that it's bright. Okay, it's brighter red than I thought it was going to be. And it kind of reminds me of the way these skates were when I first got them, um, which was so bright and red. And, and I actually really like the color that they've faded to. It's like kind of like a wine color. It's really nice. But these skates have literally lasted me. Like I got these. Oh, my God. When did I get these? Babe, did I get these like four years ago? I got these in 2018. And they're still like gr in great condition. Like these skates work so well. And that's really a testament to the quality of the skate and the boot is just held up for a really long time. Like the biggest thing that's happening to the skate after, you know, oh my God, five years is that this is like separating a little bit. And I think one of them, the whole loop on the back came off. But like, if that's the worst thing that's happening, like I'm not mad at it. Oh my God. Oh my God, it looks so different. <laughs> Ah! I don't even know. I don't even know. Yeah, the first time I did this, I was live. And I was like, I'm not sure if this is going to work. I'm just going to go for it. And then it ended up being so good. And then people were like, oh, like, this video is terrible quality. I'm like, yeah, because it was literally live. Like, I didn't even know that it was going to be. I honestly didn't know that it was going to work as well as it did. And. And I definitely didn't know that people were actually going to watch it besides the people who are live. It was really just like a, oh, I'm live. I should do something. What if I glitter these skates? <laughs> and I had seen so many people like using actual glitter. And I was like, I'm not about to like use actual glitter and put that everywhere. Although if you know me, you know, I am absolutely not against using actual glitter and putting it everywhere. But shove is like mildly against me using glitter and putting it everywhere and by putting it everywhere I mean doing crafts in the living room and getting glitter everywhere and then being like babe will you please clean it up and by clean it up I mean I picked it all up but will you do the floors <laughs> so anyway so that's why we love this glitter lights paint because I'm currently have already almost painted half of the skate and there's no glitter anywhere except for a little bit on this table. 
which I put a trash bag down and it could be so much worse. Trust me, it could be so much worse because I have done it. Anyways, it's been a long time since I've just like chatted with you about what kind of skating I'm doing and like what I'm up to. So figured I may as well update you a little bit on my life. So I've been doing, y'all know I became an LA roller girl. So I've been doing some gigs here and there. Skating for random things like fashion shows and random like photo shoots and just random parties and stuff. So I've been doing that. Maybe you also know that I got high heeled skates and I've been practicing in them despite it being very, very, very difficult to skate in them. I've always wanted to and I've always admired people who do skate in high heeled skates. Not like high heel like this, not boot skates, like high heel, high heel skates. Um, so yeah, so I feel like a little baby deer, but I'm loving the new like skate journey that I've been on. Okay, something I am noticing. Not that it's not soaking up the glitter well, it totally is, like it looks incredible, but it is not soaking up the glitter as well as the gold skates did because, I'm assuming, because a lot of the spots on this skate are like totally worn in, like totally, like just basically just rubbed off and it doesn't suck up the glitter as much in those spots as the ones that haven't had as much contact with the ground <laughs> or the coping or whatever it is that made it flat. Okay, that is the first side. Okay, for comparison's sake. Also, that took up about half of one pot. And one pot has one ounce of glitter light paint in it. So let's see how far the rest of this pot gets us. I wanna say I remember using way less product than I thought I was going to use when I did the gold skates. Like I definitely had product left over. I think I got these paints because I was doing this Rainbow Rider painting competition which mine turned out, you know, as does someone who doesn't have any drawing experience but only has painting experience, aka can paint colors but not draw designs. Anyway, so I bought them for that and then I had extra and that's why I was like, oh, I'm totally going to do these gold skates. And then I still had extra even after that. So it doesn't take as much product as you think it does. Um, okay, so other things that I'm doing skate-wise, I mean the world is starting to be a little bit more like spring-summer and there's been an actual like real winter in Long Beach this year, so there hasn't been much outdoor skating going around. So I am definitely excited and totally ready to do some outdoor skating. Um, we're prepping for Shove's Suns Out, Buns Out rollout. That's going to happen in June. June 17th. Is that the date, babe? June 17th is when the Suns Out Buns Out in Long Beach is going to happen this year. And then there's also going to be a Sobo Suns Out Buns Out rollout in Phoenix. So it's going to be super fun. And that's happening November ooh, 8th. Do you know? Oh, I don't know. November something in Phoenix, Arizona. So... We are really trying to travel the Suns Out Buns Out, but um, we don't actually have any money to go anywhere. So we have to, if you want a Suns Out Buns Out near you and you're willing to like raise the funds to get us there, AKA just like either if it's drivable gas in our tank to get there and back and a place to stay or um, plane flights if it's too far. The reason why we're doing one in Phoenix specifically is because our BFF, Heather, and her family from Project Pinup live there, and so we could stay with them. 
And so it's essentially only costing us the price of gas to get out there. And it's like relatively close to Long Beach. So that's what we're doing. But anyways, I would love to have one in a bunch of different places. Yeah, so the day after the Suns Out Buns Out, there's going to be a Cheers to the Queers, which is an open park meetup for everybody. But it's just called Cheers to the Queers. And it is going to be, yeah, the next day. It's going to be a cute little park meetup. And I'm excited about that. I'm excited about adding something onto it. And then also, oh, another thing that is happening is I am, and I was doing this before, but I stopped for a while because of the pandemic and just life and everything, but I am officially teaching skate lessons again. So if you are located anywhere near Long Beach, California, and you would like me to teach you how to skate in person, I am doing that. Yeah, I'm teaching skate lessons and um, so I'm teaching like beginner park, beginner dance, and just regular roller skating. And yeah, so you should email me if you're interested in that, queergirlstraightskates at gmail.com. And so I'm very excited. Okay, that was so fast. Check it out. We have a whole nother side painted. Excellent. I think I'm definitely going to do a second layer on this because you can see some of the like the dark parts coming through, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. I just want to give myself a little extra, a little extra. And okay, so check in halfway through the second skate. So technically it'd be like one full skate. First layer, one layer is only one pot. And I have a little bit left over. So I would definitely say that two, two pots would fully give you at least one layer over a suede skate. Two, like a pair. I would go like one pot per layer per skate and then you'll have a little bit left over if you're looking for some sort of measurement for your skates. Because I think that because mine are size 7, so if you have like skates that are a little bit bigger, then you'll probably just use whatever this leftover part is. And then you'd, you'd be just fine. But anyways, if you decide to glitter your skates, please let me know. Oh my god, tag me, because I love seeing glittered skates. I think they're so great, they're so fun, they make me so happy. And if they don't make you happy, that's okay, but they make me very happy. <laughs> Um, I feel like, yeah, I definitely shouldn't set it down because it hasn't been enough time for it to be dry yet, but she's looking good. These skates, I think I originally called them my cherry bomb skates. Oh, dude, I forgot about the tongue, actually. You might, okay, so it's, it's a guesstimate. I mean, I'm not like, I'm literally not an expert. This is just based off of my personal experience, but... Yeah, there's also the tongue. I haven't done the tongue yet. So the first time I did this, I used a really small brush and it took me so much longer because I was using a small brush. So just like you could definitely use a small brush, but it is way faster <laughs> to use a bigger brush, especially like I'm doing it right now without putting any sort of tape there. But if you had tape there, I would definitely feel safe using a big brush for your skate painting. Oh my god, this is making me so nervous. It's just sitting there tilted. Okay. Wah! Okay, this is literally the last bit of the paint. And or it's not. I have more. Don't worry. I have literally three more things, and I'm not going to need them. But this is, I've used all of one, one pot of paint. All right, so one pot of paint, and that got me one side of this one, both sides of this one, and I haven't done the tongue or any details yet. So I'm gonna do some tongue, and I'm, I'm gonna do some tongue, <laughs> but I am gonna do the tongue, and then I'm gonna do some details, and then I'm going to 
Show you how it looks afterwards. Uh. Okay, so I finished a lot of the details. I did the M. I have the first coat fully done on both skates. Oh, except for, dang, I did forget the tongue. That's okay, I can do it right now. Okay, <laughs> totally forgot the tongue. The whole reason why I was like, oh, I should turn off the video so I can concentrate, so I can get this tongue done. And then I <laughs> did not do it. That's fine, it's fine. Everything is fine. Okay, anyways, so I guess I'll just tell you more about my life then. So I've been taking dance classes. I've been taking burlesque classes. I've been taking striptease classes. And I've been taking twerking classes because I'm really, really interested in performance. Um, performance on and off skates and so that's been something that has been taking up my time and I have just it's I've loved it so much it's been so like fulfilling for me Ooh, these tongues are not soaking up the paint as well and that's because of the reason I was telling you earlier like these skates have literally been through it like no joke like I have put them through the ringer and they are very worn out and worn off and so what you want to know why why oh i didn't know that okay so what shove just told me that's wax so the reason why your skate gets like that like that color and that texture is because like i definitely i use wax laces and also like people wax copings and stuff like that and so when your skate brushes against that enough times it gets waxy like that so can you actually clean it off then babe mm, i very doubtful i think you could try to get it off but wax is like it's like yeah. you need a melted candle wax on clothing you know oh uh, yeah that makes sense it definitely yeah makes it a full different texture it makes the texture more like the vinyl the way the glitter paint is being is like going on it is a lot more like the way it goes on vinyl which is that it does go on it it just takes more coats yeah, like a fresh suede it just sucks it right up if you look at a street skater skates you'll notice it has like that seal skin look to it all yeah the, it's all the wax seal skin well that's what this literally looks like like yeah. this is actually a great example this is literally like the seal skin kind of look like it's like literally tough it's like literally hard because it just has so much wax and like gunk on it. Um, it's actually kind of cute. It looks like a little rolls. I like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's because these these skates have been there and back with me, me and these skates together forever. They were originally called I think I called them like my cherry bombs or something. I'm not even sure anymore. It's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've remembered the names that I originally named my skates. <laughs> These are so cute. This is definitely giving them a second life and I am here for it. I am all about giving your skates a little zhuzh when you're like, oh, they feel so bland or like, maybe no one ever feels that way, but I definitely get tired of everything. So I always have to like zhuzh it up somehow. The only thing I don't get tired of is skating itself. Actually, sometimes I get tired of skating, but that's normal. And then I take a short break and then I come back to it. All right. Um, yeah, so if you see, I'm just gonna have to do several coats on here. Oh, another thing, I am actually coaching at Moxie Skate Camp. So if you are going to Moxie Skate Camp, I will be there. Um, I will actually be at both skate Moxie Skate Camp East and Moxie Skate Camp West, and I will be coaching. And I'm so excited because I love teaching, and I love teaching skating. 
So I'm gonna be teaching mostly beginner stuff. So a lot of people have asked like, oh, like are beginners gonna be, you know, whatever, like is there space for beginners at camp? Absolutely. I just couldn't say it before. I don't, actually maybe I could have, but I didn't know I could. <laughs> Oh my god, what are the names of your classes? Are you okay, we have some fun names for my classes. Um, my first, so I am teaching a back that, um, it's an emoji, <laughs> back that up, but it's like back that shit up, but like with an emoji. You mean back that ass up? Yeah, back that ass up, back that shit up, whatever. Whichever your heart desires for backward skating. I'm gonna teach a little bit of backward skating. Exciting. Um, I have a I don't wanna run into walls anymore class, which is for stopping, how to stop, learning how to stop. I have, a, I'm leading tie dye, which is gonna be a party. Um, oh my gosh, the tongue is done. It looks so good. Ah! So I'm just gonna do a second coat on some of the areas. Um, I What else do I have? Oh, I'm teaching a side stance class, an intro to side stance class, which I'm so, so, so excited about because I just feel like it's a part of the history, like in a very important part of the history of ramp skating. And I love, love, love skating side stance. So I'm going to teach people how to skate side stance on flat and then take it to the ramp. Um, I don't remember what I called that side hill stance. Oh, and then me and Shove are going to be teaching a hill bomb class, a beginner hill bomb class, and we're calling it Hill Bomb Baddies. It's so cute. Isn't that such a cute name, babe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was like, this is so fun. I'm so excited. I love coming up with names for the classes, and my good friend Jessica Savage also was coming up with names. So it was very helpful to me. Um, yeah, so I'm teaching. Okay, so tie-dye, stopping, backward skating, side stance. I'm teaching at East, I'm teaching a beginner dance class. So beginners who wanna start dance skating, be teaching that. I just think it's gonna be awesome. Oh my God, this looks so good. I'm like obsessed. Okay, check it out, shoved in my nails. I don't know if you could see them, but they're so cute. Shove also graduated from cosmetology school since the last time I just randomly chatted with you guys. So we're very proud of Shove. Shove is doing great things. So I'm teaching I Can't Cope, which is tricks below the coping, which is just like a great, a great class to take. I honestly, any level can take it, but it's great for people who like don't really know how to stall yet, or even people who are like not really that confident in their stalls, or people who just wanna add a little diversity to like what they're doing in their runs. And it's gonna be all sorts of fun stalls that, stalls and tricks and all sorts of stuff below the coping. So we love to see it, very excited. What else is it, is that it? Yeah. And yeah, so that's it. Ooh. Don't use your big brush if you're doing a decal on the back. Don't use your big brush. That was almost disastrous. I put too much product just now. What should I do on this like back white stay? I obviously can't keep it the way it is. That would be way boring. In comparison with the rest of the skates and I don't want it to just fade into the background. Um, yeah, so I'm just doing a second coat right now on this glitter because I've noticed that because the skates are a little bit older and we got that wax factor that there's some <laughs> spots that are just not not soaking it up as well as others. So we're just doing some extra layering here. You just made a makeup joke. Wax factor? Oh, instead of max factor? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. This is why you should put sticker down sticker tape down if you care about the rest of your skate um, because I definitely just got it even though I'm being very careful despite the fact it probably doesn't seem like I'm being careful I am being very careful but I definitely just got it all over the top of the heel which was not my intention but again I'm okay with it it's fine we're dealing 
Oh my gosh, she looks so good. I'm so obsessed. This is going to make me want to take these skates out. And I love that. That's what I want. I always, like, people are always like, oh, you have so many skates. And I'm like, yeah, but I love all of them so much. Just like people collect sneakers, I collect skates. Shev does too. We love, we love our skates so much. They are our little babies. Not as much of our babies as Bowie is. Where is Bowie anyways? I can hear him snoring. Is he over there with you? Yeah. He's sleeping. He loves sleeping. He is a little sleeping monster. Um, Bowie said he misses all of you guys, but he just really loves sleeping so much. And maybe he'll make an appearance at the end. Maybe if he naturally wakes up or he just senses. He senses that there's a camera on. Every once in a while, I'm like, was your past life as someone famous? Because I feel like you love the spotlight. He loves attention. Definitely loves attention. Surprised that he's a, what is he again? He's a Virgo? No, a Libra? What the f... What does he be? November... He's a Scorpio. Oh, duh, duh, duh. He's a Scorpio. Yeah. How did I forget that for two seconds? I'm a terrible mom. Okay. He's a Scorpio. Surprise, he's not. Maybe he has a Leo in his chart. I've actually never looked at his whole chart. Have you? No. I should look at his chart. Wait, his actual birthday is November 10th? Anyways, if someone wants to pull his chart, feel free. <laughs> I might pull his chart later. It's for a dog, though, just a heads up. Like, it's not my actual, it's not a human child. I mean, you knew that. All right, okay. So I've done two full coats on these skates, and I have used two full little containers. These ones are now empty, because I used them on the skates, and I feel really confident with the coverage. Like, I don't feel like I need to go over any of the parts or anything. Um, all the details, like I can go over those again if I want to, but I'm gonna let it dry for now. But yeah, so then you would just let it dry. I would spray it with some sort of sealant, like a suede protector or something, and then lace them back up and go out and skate. And now you have glitter skates. Amazing. Okay, thank you so much for watching this episode of Queer Girl Straight Skates. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a beautiful day. Go roller skate today. And go support my shop if you would love to. I would love it if you did. Got all sorts of really cute stuff. And um, most importantly, cheers to the queers. I've got a